water, there this is tree. What is water to water with? Teach them to obey me. Freely you have been given, freely give. There is no repentance, because my word has been diluted. Sugar water tastes sweet, but when inside of you feeds cancer. The audition leaders who do not follow my example by washing feet and serving, teach mixed things. I do not mix with pagan liars. I do not approve of sin. Do not lie to your children and mix pagan holidays with me. No liar will be in heaven, for the father of lies was cast out. Saturn and his children dilute my word. Paul said his intellect was as dung. God is not impressed with anything we have. He gave us all we have anyhow, not to be used for self-glory, because self should be dead if you follow Jesus. Carnality equals enmity with me. Hear and understand. You cannot understand me, word, without me, Holy Spirit, teaching you. I spoke in parables because I do not toss pearls before swines. I reward those who call upon me. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 Jeremiah 29 verse 11 to 13 I am the same. I am the rock. Since Eden, the father of liars has diluted my word. A sour relied on his carnal understanding and thought he knew better than me. He makes word with carnality, and he never found godly sorrow that leads to repentance and restoration with me. He was sorry with what the fleshly sorrow because he knew he did not want to obey me. If you do not want to obey me, then it is better not to pretend that you want to. Hypocrites are worse than those who choose to not believe me. Why? Because hypocrites are actors and liars. They stomp on word and dilute with sugar of sin, like their father of lies. There are no liars in heaven when my bride, New Jerusalem, is presented to my son. I have stated clearly that no liar shall enter it. If you say you know me, but worship self, you lie. All sin is self-worship. Liars are lying with the father of lies. I am only faithful and true. There is no lie in me, but the one who lies to you and also accuses you tells you that I am a liar, that it is okay to dilute my word and interpret word with carnality. I do not mix with abominations. Pay the price of dying to self, or else you are not mine. I have told you that you must give up self-worship in order for my spirit to teach you the hidden treasures in my word. I do not mix with anything pagan, and neither do my children. There is no power in so-called churches, because Laodicea loves carnality and the world. My word will never pass away, so withdraw from that which will pass away. Do not join hands with the wicked, who allow gossip and abuse in the places they call my sanctuary. I have told you that even to wish God's be to a hypocrite, is to take on their sins yourself. These are the synagogues of Satan. How can you tell? I have told you to discern the fruit. You will only know truth if you seek me. It is all in my word, but I do not explain word to those who love darkness. I do not hear the prayers and worship of those who refuse to humble self before me. You cannot worship self and me. You must choose. Obey what Jesus said to do to be his disciple. I cannot live in you and bear my fruit out of you, as long as you dilute my word with human understanding. Have I not commanded you not to lean on your own understanding, not to put your trust in mortal man? Why do you refuse to seek me directly? 
Men give you sugar water, I give you truth. Self must die, or else I cannot live in and through you to defeat the work of the enemy. This is why I came, but most in Laodicea assist the enemy to promote his plan. Many because they do not take responsibility for their own souls, but trust in the ordained. Many preachers are ordained for the blackest of darkness. Read my word. You are responsible for the soul I gave to you, not your family or pastor. How will you know if they give you diluted word or the real thing? You must gain my wisdom for yourself. Holy Spirit in you will teach you all things, but you have to be willing to let go of hindrances, like even family, even other children living in sin. Give them to me. And don't accept sin as okay, even if they hate you for saying my truth. You must love me more than all. Understand what it means, repentance, that I accept. Jesus showed that the publican was accepted. Why? Seek, ask me, not your pastor. Ask me what salvation is all about. You can fall from your steadfastness. But there are wolves in the church that spout doctrines of demons. Any delusion of my word is lies, and you know who the father of lies is. There is no lie in me. You can do nothing apart from me. Even the kind of repentance I accept only comes because of my loving kindness. But I command you to seek me. But you go off to seek carnal ways. You feel comfy with the words of mortal men. I never say trust in feelings, your own understanding. And remember, Jesus says to love me is to obey me. You may not always feel like obeying me. Loving me is not just a feeling like you do, or saying you do. Read my word. If you do not obey, die to self-worship. If you do not bear the cost of dying to self, if you do not continually follow me to the end in obedience, then Father and I will not make our body new, and you will remain in your sin. I have told you this in my word. Trade your false dilute gospels that shows zero power. Where are the healings? Where are abuser demons being cast out? Gospels are no shunned enough. No one cares for another soul enough to give them my truth. I said no one will see me without holiness. Like the Hebrews, you wander around trying to conquer your sin with your flesh. I said you can do nothing apart from me. You serve either yourself or you serve me. You cannot worship both. Learn of me while there is still time. Abandon those who dilute my word, and let the false demonic doctrines fall off of you. I am the way, the truth, the life. No one else is, not even those who call themselves ordained. Let them get angry, like the Pharisee hypocrites of my day. Ignore them and seek me immediately. Time is short and soon there will be a famine of my word. Seek me while I may be found. Sacrifice what you must in order to seek me and wait on me. I have much to give and teach you, only if you will seek me and accept my truth. Be willing to die to all that is self, and then all my promises are yours when I make my abode in you.